Welcome to the Global Claims Associates investigation into claims by the Cremation or Memorial Diamond Companies. This investigation was begun 20 years ago by a major insurance company and reveals serious problems with claims made by the companies claiming to offer lab-created diamonds made from carbon in ashes of cremated loved ones. This video is the short version of our report that contains the most important scientific studies that all consumers should be aware of when making your decision regarding cremation diamonds. One of the most important issues when reviewing the cremation diamond companies is that most use fake images to represent that they own diamond making presses. An example is seen here where the largest cremation diamond company is representing their diamond making presses in these images. And yet these are not diamond making presses. They are pellet presses to make test samples for scientific study. These do not make diamonds. Here you see real high pressure and high temperature diamond making presses. We cannot explain why cremation diamond companies have to use fake images to misrepresent their diamond making ability to consumers, but these images speak for themselves. Regardless of the use of falsified images, the scientific studies discovered during our investigation point to the fact that the cremation diamond companies are grossly misrepresenting that they get carbon from cremated ashes. Here are the important independent scientific studies we found. The most crucial issue is how much carbon, if any, is left in cremated ashes of a human body. Since all of the organic material is burned off during cremation, the only parts left are burned bones. The cremation diamond companies claim that human bones are made of carbon, but that turns out not to be true. First is the study. Determination of the Elemental Composition of Human Bone Tissue by Atomic Emission Spectral Analysis in the Journal of Applied Spectroscopy. It found no carbon in the elemental analysis of human bone tissue. Here you see the actual report with no carbon C listed in the elemental analysis. Next is the trace element determinations in human cortical and trabecular bones is the Journal of Radioanalytical and Nuclear Chemistry that once again failed to find carbon in their elemental analysis of these human bones. Remember, the cremation diamond companies rely on the claim of extracting carbon from the remains of human bones in the cremated ashes. And yet carbon is not an element of which human bone is composed. We continue with our investigation. Here we see a study report entitled Minor and Trace Elements in Human Bones and Teeth by G.V. Iyengar and L. Tandon and published by the International Atomic Energy Commission that once again shows the elemental analysis of human bones. And you will see that carbon is once again missing from the report. Clearly, the claims by the cremation diamond companies that carbon left in cremated bones is not possible which should greatly impact consumers' decisions regarding the honesty of these claims. But we take our investigation one step further regarding the burn temperature of carbon and the burn temperature of a cremation oven. Several sources, including the Cremation Society website, state specifically that all carbon from the human body is burned off during the cremation process. Carbon starts burning at 300 degrees Fahrenheit, at 1400 degrees Fahrenheit, all carbon is burned off from the human body. The problem is this. Cremation chambers burn at between 1400 degrees and 1800 degrees Fahrenheit, meaning that all carbon that is in other parts of the body is totally burned off during the cremation process. We found a specific independent scientific study that proved this point. The University of Montana did a study specifically of the chemical composition of burned or cremated bodies. They found that at 600 degrees centigrade or 112 degrees Fahrenheit, all carbon is burned off from cremated ashes. All carbon is gone. Remember that cremation ovens burn at over 1400 degrees Fahrenheit. There is one more factor we found in our research, the price of cremation diamonds. Lab-created diamond prices have dropped dramatically over the past few years. As of 2024, one carat lab-created diamonds were selling for as low as $159. And yet the cremation diamond companies are charging in excess of $20,000 for a one carat lab created diamond. 
Given that no carbon exists in human cremated remains, exactly what are the cremation diamond companies using to make these diamonds? And why are they charging such outrageous prices for diamonds that cannot, according to the independent scientific investigations, cannot contain any carbon from the loved one? It is unfortunate that these cremation diamond companies prey on unsuspecting consumers at their most vulnerable time. It is even further unfortunate that the United States Federal Trade Commission does not take action to do their own investigation. The cremation diamond companies are generating millions of dollars in sales from taking advantage of families at the worst possible time for them to make wise decisions. We hope this information will be of assistance to you in your consideration of buying a cremation diamond. Weigh the evidence. Look at the independent scientific testing. Then ask yourself if you are making the decision out of grief or common sense. We hope this information will be of service in your decision. Thank you for your time.